basically just a sand dune. So this trail I'm going to run here, there's some hard pack uh, rough stuff here and then some smoother hard pack and then it gets super sandy. So fat tire bikes are supposed to handle sand, right? Let's see if, uh, see if I can actually get anywhere in the sand. Yeah, so I mean it feels right at home in this type of terrain and these speeds. This top section here is very hard pack. If you go down here through the bottom, you start getting into some soft loamy stuff. Alright, let's 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 go wild. Let's see what happens if we get into loser stuff. <laughs> This is pretty loose stuff here. Oh. Loose whoops. These are whoops that even... Uh, uh oh. <laughs> oh man, the sand. The sand. It's actually, it's actually going through these sandy whoops. I didn't think this was going to be possible. This makes me think that I got something like a 26 inch uh, fat tire bike, uh, like a side rusher with a full suspension that can actually do some sand. <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. The fact that it floats and that it's lightweight actually helped it get through that. I did not think it was going to be able to do that. <laughs> some motocross guys out there. <laughs> I think I'm uh, ridiculous kick it up to pedal assist 4 for this sandier section that we're about to hit wow the lightweight the lightweight makes up this stuff <laughs> easier than it should be there's no way you could do this I think on a skinny tire mountain bike okay yeah this gets really this gets really tough okay let's go to pedal assist 5 screw it we're gonna go gonna go hard Wow, <laughs> this, I'll show you on the way back how soft this sand is. This is like just basically going through a sand dune. There is no way I thought it was going to get through this. Okay, I'm betting this. Uh... <laughs> okay, as soon as, as soon as I started getting some elevation change, it just died. It just bogging down in this, but look at this. Basically just a sand dune. This is kind of starting to climb. As long as it's flat, it seems like it can do it. <laughs> oh man. It's a lot more fun coming downhill, but... <laughs> I'm gonna lose it! Fun. Yeah, so that really deep sand, uh, these smaller wheels, I think it's a uh, pretty, pretty sketchy. This is the, the embankment of the Rio Grande. This should be a uh, more gravelly, hard pack. Yeah, most of the time the Rio Grande is empty this time of year, but Okay, let's see how it feels on on this stuff. Yeah, I mean this feels uh this feels great. It's right at home here. And as you can see, the Rio Grande is dry. It doesn't make it to the Gulf of Mexico. I could have tried going across the sand there, but I think I've had enough sand fun today. Just need to get the bike up and over this, which is easy to do because it's. A bicycle, not a motorcycle. They put this to keep uh, keep dirt bikes out. This is where the passenger handle is really useful. And we'll go down to the bottom here. Yeah, this is, this is perfect. Still doing great. 
Final challenge. I'm gonna try to cross through the sand, see how far I can get. This is such a bad idea. This is such a bad idea. I don't think. No. <laughs> let's let's walk it across this. Throttle. Jogging. <laughs> it's pulling me along. I don't know. I wonder. Uh oh. Oh, up brakes, up brakes, up brakes, all right, come on, little electric, yeah, that was too deep, looks scary as heck as soon as I hit it, let's get up this hard pack embankment, like nothing, yeah, sand, maybe, bigger wheels, all right, it was a lot of fun. Hopefully this bike can hold up to that kind of use periodically. <sighs> good ride, good ride. If you found this information useful, please consider subscribing to be notified of future content.